Oh yeah, the Chevrolet in question. This is one of the best looking trucks on the road. Half ton, three quarter ton, one ton, doesn't matter. Beautiful freaking trucks. Tell you what. Especially this one. All right, we're here. I'm gonna get this dang old alternator replaced. Oh, you can see the coils in there kind of corroded a little bit. It's probably original, I'm sure. But the problem she's having is sometimes the power steering will go out because it's electric power steering. And I think the alternator takes most of the work when it does that. Battery's good. The lights kind of flicker when it's running, you know, like, like this, kind of, in a way. A little more subtle than that, but we ran into this problem before on other Silverados, so. We figured we load the parts can and just fire away at this thing, you know? Just load it all up. It looks like we gotta get the belt off. Tension right there, just a three inch drive, or is it half inch, can't tell. We'll figure out here in a second. Two 15 millimeters on the front, and then your power wire on the back, plus the little plug. That little plug, it just goes up Tells you the voltage on the dash. Okay, we'll get the battery disconnected, negative right there, and then we'll get this intake pipe out of the way, and then proceed to highlighted route. I would use my GoPro, but I lost the freaking memory card to it, of course, so I have to deal with this old cell phone, just like how we used to do it. Get the ratchet in there, maybe. Oh, it's under some tension. Let me set you guys down. I'll be right back. All right. Cut that off. We'll get this air intake out of the way. That way we can see what we're doing. Okay. Now you can see what you're doing. Got the intake off. We're going to disconnect the battery. Should be a 10 millimeter over there. Batteries disconnected. This one very tight. boys those are definitely not the same length so that's easy to keep track of there it comes there it goes Okay, after you fight with it getting out of it. So these are just bushings. So when you tighten it up, it squeezes against the alternator. So it's a little tricky. We'll just have to hammer those back out so the new one just slips right in. But something I found interesting on this, and this must be modern, because if you put something in there to jam that from turning, you can spin the pulley. You know, See, it's not spinning the inside of the alternator. But if you go this way, it does. So it's like a one-way bearing in there or something. I don't I don't know. Where's the new one? Save the receipt. Core. Wow. Mm. 
New one looks identical. That's a plus. Oh, the new one doesn't too. Anyway, this is the new one, and it's just reverse of taking it off. How do I look? Do I look good? You look good. I'm just gonna slightly tickle it here. Yeah, the new one does the same thing. Huh. It's gotta be a one-way bearing in there. Well, it's been one way, but not the other. All right, we'll get our hammer here. I'm gonna tap these studs out. Not tap them out, but move them out a little bit. And this should just slip right down in there. Like so, look at that. Shorter one towards the right. Snug fit. Mm. Let's see. And this long one goes in the bottom or in the left. Snug it down. factory. Okay, and at this point we can throw the belt back on, get that out of our way. Make sure it's on the idler. Get it over there. Get that at an angle we can push. Push down on the tensioner. Make sure it's all lined up. Belt's on. Give me it. Double check, make sure it's on the crank. Yep, it is. Water pump looks good. Okay. Throw our power wire back on. You don't want to over torque this. You snap that off. Oh, time to buy a new one. Lightly snug it. Lightly snugged. Dust cap back on. Put it back in. Okay, throw our intake back on. Seen better days. Let's pull the core out of the clamp. It's fine. PCVs. Math sensor.
Okay, put our battery connection back on. Shocking experience. Okay, clean this up and start it up. Well, it says it's charging. Ma'am, clear bay one. <laughs> it's all fixed. Here's your other one for your seventy dollar core. Huh? Put that back in there. Make sure you return that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna conclude this simple little project. Sorry, I didn't get the GoPro footage for you. I lost the memory card. Actually, it was in a vacuum cleaner. And I tried sifting out the dirt, and I lost it in the trash can. Dang it! <sighs> anyway. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you like the video. That's the truck in question. Back and running. We'll see you in the next one.